Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my day. So I've got a few things to show. I have got these here. So I did say in a few of my videos that I keep meaning to buy some more of the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. There's a massive range to these, but I always just like to buy the Crystal Clear. And you can add colour to this if you want to, but these are very, very... Well, they are. They're the same as Winker Stella. But I actually prefer although I have quite a few Winker Stellas, I'll just pull a few out here just to show you. Their clear is actually more of a gold and it, it does actually colour or cover your paper, your cardstock, whatever it is you're decorating. Whereas the Crystal Clear, it's in the name, leaves a gorgeous sparkle. So whenever you get these, just like the Winker Stella ones, you just have to take off the yellow. That's your stopper. Once you put that back on, it will click. I don't know if you just missed that then because I was talking, but it clicks and that means it's just punctured into the barrel. So it will now let all of the sparkle and it will just slowly, and if you can see there, you see it's there, yeah, you can see it's starting to move and you just pump it a few times. It says push on the sides. But value for money for these is so much better than one Winker Stella. So yeah, you can buy, well, they come in packs of three and they will last, well, Depending on how much you use them, I use these things a lot, but if I just get some darker card just so it picks up well on camera, once you get it going, just give this a minute. Oh, it's just, it's beautiful. When you get a new one after you've been trying to get all of the, the last bits out and you can add, if you want, you can use, um, I guess, I think the rubbing alcohol is the same as surgical spirit. I'm pretty sure it is because I think rubbing alcohol is more commonly used in the States and we have surgical spirit here, which is what I use to clean things. I use it to clean up my, my stamp pla stamping platforms and things like that. But if you add a bit into the barrel of this when it's nearly gone, you can, you know, get the last of it out kind of thing. Some people add water, but the problem with adding water is then you're adding water to your projects, which will then react with the cardstock and probably make it warp. So you do have to be careful. If you use a rubbing alcohol or a surgical spirit, then it's, it's just going to be, you know, it, it dries it almost instantly and it doesn't do that. So, but look at the sparkle. Amazing. So yeah, so I just picked up three more of those. And what I will do is I leave the yellow ones on the ones I'm not using, just so I know which one to go to because it's very easy to start you know using them all and yeah anyway so those are the spectrum noir sparkle pens as always i will link everything below and check out the rest of the range because if you um you know check out some of the demos that they do on crafters companion with the colored ones they're so opaque i mean the, the amount of color that you get in them and uh, you can yeah color your stamped images and create some really pretty results so if you love sparkle then the sparkle pens are really good then I just picked up some more Nouveau drops. So I use a lot of these on my scrapbook layouts, on my commission projects, so cards that I'm making for magazines and projects like that. And I find that I use them a lot more at Christmas time. So you'll start to see some more of the cards that I'm starting to share with Nouveau drops. I'm using the white a lot again now. It's kind of the time of year that I use it, but I thought I would just stock up on a few that I don't have. So I don't have this green and it is just a, it's a, just a really nice simple green. There's no sparkle in this or anything. And this is the, the, the Grande tubes. And this one is, where's the color? There it is. This is woodland green. So it's a really nice green to use. So I've got that one. Then I've got this green, which does have the sparkle. So this is your glitter drops. And this is sunlit meadow. Then I picked up this one here, which again is the glitter drops, which is holiday cheer. And the other two kind of Christmassy ones were these ones here that I got, which I thought would be nice together. I, I realised, I thought I had a red glitter and then I checked after I'd done the order and I didn't, so I do need to order a red glitter. This is Gold Coast. It's beautiful. It's like a golden champagne-y kind of colour. Really, really pretty. And then I got this one here. Now, I do have this one, and they're quite similar, but this one I'm going to show you is really thick because this is the Nouveau glitter I can't work out what that says on it accents and this is glitter drops so I think this is runnier this is really really thick and I've used this on a few projects already which you'll see coming um so yeah this is the color of this one here is golden sunlight it's just beautiful really really it's almost more bronzy because it's got the orange going through it there so and these last ages they really really do so again if you're looking for things when you finish a card and you just think it just needs that little bit extra nouveau drops are really nice and this one here is like a molten metal kind of look. 
and where was the name again? Liquid Mercury, yeah. And I just thought, I loved the name. I thought, oh, I bet that's gonna look really nice. And these things are perfect for adding onto your, like, more of your masculine cards, especially if you wanna, you know, maybe you've got some cogs or you've got some metal work or maybe you've got like some tools. You add these kind of things, you know, this, this over like, I don't know, the head of a hammer or uh, some spanners and, they, and it, it just, I don't know, it's just really fun. So you don't just have to do them as dots. I move mine around, I use my pokey tool and you can, you know, actually use it to cover die cuts and things like that. So you can get some really fun effects with them. And then the last one I got here was rhubarb crumble. Made me hungry when I saw that one. It's just a really lovely, let me just show you that one a little bit on here. It's just a beautiful. Again, if you're new to seeing any of this Nouveau um, products, these just keep their dimension. So I've got some cheaper ones, I guess, and they just end up, um, I, think the, I think some of them, to be honest, do have water in them. These don't. And the cardstock just absorbs that water. And then the, you go to it in the morning and it's just flat. It's just a flat circle. These don't do that. They stay on, on the surface and they keep that dimension. So that will not, I mean, if I tip it on its side, it's still wet, it would drop, but that will stay with that dimension to it. So it's just, yeah, really nice. Great to use if you've got a black, which I do. So I've got quite a few, it's probably, where is it? There it is. This is great to use for eyes, just the center of the eyes. So you just, you've got that little bit of dimension and the white, I'm on about my third of the white now is great for snow and highlights and things like that. So yeah, I do love them. Oh, and I love my yellow as well. That's the yellow one there. That one is English mustard. And it is, that is English mustard. <laughs> so yeah, they're really, really fun. So I just picked up a few more of those so they can all be added in. And again, if you like sparkle and you like things that are pretty, the bottles are really cute as well. And that's the first of the Grande ones that I've got actually. So, which is good because I'll probably end up using that green a lot because that'll go perfect with your summer projects and things like that as well. So that was those and then I've been wanting this for ages but it, every time I went to get it it was out of stock it was more expensive on Amazon and then I got it from Craft Stash and it's basically to pick up your magnets so it's a huge magnet but it's in the shape of a diamond so it's really pretty and it's the same color as my Cricut machine so it's that lovely minty color but when I work you see it all nice and neat on camera because you see this area which is always pretty clear but when I'm preparing beforehand sometimes I have so much mess I have die cuts I have bits of stamped images I have bits of random paper and things like that and I have lost dies when I've just thought that I've picked everything up you get the paper and you kind of brush it all off into your bin with this here it's like a hoover you can just run it over all of that mess and it will pick up all of your die cuts now of course you can use any magnet if you've got a strong magnet you know you could probably run your the bottom of your stamping platform over all of your mess if you wanted to you don't have to have this but I've always liked it I th think it looks really pretty it sits just like that and also when I am um, Sometimes I've got like this one here, this is free from a magazine. I just haven't got around to putting it away. I have a spare magnet here on one of my, um, it's on my Ikea pegboard. And I just stick them to that, which is fine. But now I can just pop it on there. You can see how strong that is. So if you imagine, you know, there you go. That was about three inches away from it. There we go. So you can see how that's going to work when you're kind of dragging it through your your paper and your mess basically it's just a good way to check that you have got everything so I yeah when I saw that it was in stock I thought no I'm going to buy this I really like it and I think it's going to come in very handy and it is going to sit just off camera right there <laughs> so I've got no excuses and you'll probably find sometimes things will catch onto it by accident if you brush past it and things like that so yeah that's the spellbinders what do they actually call it let me just show you it is the main attraction one magnetic pickup tool so it contains magnets and then it's got all it's every you know every language imaginable wrote on the front of that as well so easy to collect loose dies pins etc with one sweep of a bauble of the bauble and that's the other good thing is pins so if you're someone who sews i've done it before and in my old house before I moved abroad I had a carpet and I knew I dropped pins in it one time I did actually tread on it and I got the pin in my foot so if you ever do drop a pin and you're worried you've got children or animals around something like this is going to be quite handy to just brush all around the area you can get under your bed or wherever it is your desk 
and um, yeah, it will pick up those pieces. So I think it's really handy. I just really liked it. So I've got that. And then I have finally picked up the Christmas Tales. So this is the Christmas premium Dovecraft collection. So they've got Twilight Wishes, which you've seen me already share. And then we have Dovecraft Christmas Tales. This is the one that I'm gonna use through this year's Christmas workshop, along with other ones that you've seen as well. I've got some of the uh, Paper Boutique, the Paper Tree, I have other, you know, first edition trim craft papers. So I do have a lot, but for maybe three of my main projects this year, this is what I'm going to be using and I can't wait because it is just so beautiful. So this is the six by six pad. I thought I'm going to get this. I don't usually get the six by six, but I thought this time I will because of the, the things that I want to do. I think it's going to work quite well. Again, that will all make sense over the coming weeks. And I will show you the papers from that in a moment. So you get, I think I've got everything from the correct the collection. I did check it on Amazon and I believe I have got everything. So these are your adhesive pearls. So it's just nice to get the matching ones. Then I have these here, which are your sentiment toppers. So you got Merry Christmas and with love. And it's got the silver foiling on those ones. I picked up two packs of these because last time I had them, I it was the Dovecraft Secret Garden. And I made the she shed, I made the bird box, I made all kinds of things and the stickers just went really quickly and then I couldn't get them for a while and then that's it, I just moved on to something else. So I thought actually I'm gonna get two because I know they're gonna get used on gift tags and on the projects that I wanna do, but they're just really, really cute, very vintage. And it's just, yeah, it's just perfect. When I saw this in July, actually I saw it even a little bit before that because Claire showed me it on the computer fest. And then when we went up to craft in July, I actually saw it then in the, you know, it's as it is here. So this one, here's your 12 printed tags. And again, it's just, it just reminds me of my Christmas when we used to have those stickers. Well, we still get them, but the stickers that you just stick straight onto your present and write to and from, they've just got that feel about it. But you get these here. So I've got three of Father Christmas with the bunny and the, the little deer there. It's like Bambi. And then you have the three there. They're really cute. Um, and I'm going to do some real nice big loaded gift tags with all of this. I've got some wonderful, uh, my notebook actually, no one else would make sense of it, but to me it sits by my bed because a lot of you do comment saying, do you ever sleep? I do. And I'm also very organized. So I've already got about 16, 18 tutorials already scheduled and on my YouTube channel. So I, sometimes though I will <laughs> think about something in bed and I'll have to quickly write it down. So yeah, my notes are very odd, but there is the Father Christmas. He's really cute. Look at the way he's smiling with his little rosy cheeks. Absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got those three there as well. So I think they're just lovely. So pop them away in a moment. Then these are just stunning. I love the wooden shapes that they do anyway. So these are your wooden toppers. Then look at these. Look at him. He's just adorable. And these are so well made. They're coated, they're wooden. <laughs> They've got a little adhesive piece on the back there but they are just oh love them absolutely love them I've got to think well I've, I've got ideas but I've, I need to think of a few a couple of things that I want to do that I'm going to keep so something I can pull out each year because things like that I want to have for myself as well to enjoy then I picked up the stamp set really really sweet love again the little Bambi there or deer and um you got the holly leaves, the Christmas tree, and the Merry Christmas. Just two nice little sentiments there as well. Then I picked up the accordion stickers or your rosettes, your little mini ones there. Really cute. You could do a tiny little mini um, rosette wreath on a card or something. It would look really sweet. Just, yeah, gorgeous. So I'm kind of thinking now I should have probably got two packs of those. But never mind, I can always see if I can. Then I got the bunting. I love the bunting. I use the Secret Garden bunting in the... Two of the big display cards, it's on. I'm, I keep looking up because my bird box is hanging above my head and my she shed is on the shelf above my head as well. They've all got bunting on them. So I thought I've got to grab this one. So it's basically just picked out all like the paper kind of images and put them on tiny bunting and you get your string and you get 60 pieces. I've always got some left over. Again, I just think these, the cards that I have 
kind of roughly drawn up in my notebook with this in mind I think you're going to absolutely love them so look out for all of that then I was so excited to get the decoupage kit you know I love the decoupage I made last year it was the Hell's Couple Ditch and it was the I can't remember Christmas Village I think it was beautiful Christmas towels love the decoupage and then there's the 12 by 12 so I'll just quickly show you the papers here you always get it on the, the an overview anyway but you've got that nice background kind of always reminds me of a tablecloth and then you've got your baubles there you've got your holly you get four sheets of each you've got your snowflakes so again these are all great for your backgrounds and then you get your more patterned ones so there's santa and then there's that one there which is just so that's all the gift all the tags there so they've just used those images a couple of those ones and then you've got that one there that one which is really sweet and then you got that one and then that one the most wonderful time of the year joy merry christmas yeah so it's just those three and then again that little bunny and you've got the candy cane and the presents and then that side you've got again like the bambi so that is the paper pads beautiful so now i can crack on with those and uh yeah the christmas workshop will be coming soon and then i got one more paper pad as well let me just pop this away and then I got this one here, which is the Dovecraft. Again, this is over the rainbow. This is their back to basics. There is a lot in this range as well. This isn't new. This has been around for a while, but I've always liked it. And it's just one of those things that I've just, I don't know. I just, yeah, there's always been something else, but I thought, you know what? No, I'm going to get this one because it's perfect for birthdays, but it's also, I don't know. It's just, it's a really nice background pieces. I just love all these different prints, the stripes, love the squares there. And this is like your safety glass kind of, yeah, it reminds me of that like 80s glass, but obviously in pink. And then you've got that nice like blue, could be could work as a sky. I just thought it was really handy. So you get 36 sheets, 150 GSM, and how many do you get of each? Oh, three sheets of 12 designs, yeah. So there's a lot in there. It's a nice thick pad, like I said, 36 sheets. So I just really liked it and just thought it was nice. And you get this one as well, this lovely print on the top. So yeah, that was another one I picked up. Then I was approached by a lovely lady at creative expressions um probably now about a month ago and we've been chatting exchanging emails and i can't i don't think i can't say this and i'm you know i'm sure they won't mind but they basically offered me a position to be a tv demonstrator on one of the or it would have possibly been both because i know that they work across both the channels but on the two uk craft channels so I was completely blown away. They just were lovely, really, um, yeah, just really, really nice. And, but we kind of like, we were talking a bit and they wanted me to be completely exclusive to them. And I'm just not ready yet. I just, I don't know, I've, I feel I've built up some really lovely friendships with some well-known companies and I don't want to let that go yet. And I was really honest with them and they actually thanked me for my honesty. They said that it was really rare to find people in this industry you know to be so committed to the brands and I, I can't remember the exact word that she used and um yeah I just thought to break away from Trimcraft and lots of companies I'm still I communicate a lot I do a lot of things behind the scenes that I don't even talk about on this channel and I just don't want to give that up I like to bring to you guys products that I genuinely love and enjoy and I think that you would love and enjoy and to then not be able to necessarily do that with a mix of brands and just have to work with one brand which is a fantastic brand I don't know it just doesn't feel right and I'm one of those people that I've learned a lot especially later on in life that go with your gut and straight away and my gut just was like blown away with the fact that they'd said these great things but also I was just I kept thinking oh but that means I'm not really going to be doing that anymore and I just be a lot of traveling I'd be traveling a long way as well so there was all those kind of factors anyway with that being said still wanted to work with me so we get to choose product which was again something that appeals to me I like it when I can choose the product I don't like to just be sent something and then told I've got to say stuff about it you don't very rarely see me do that 
if I do say anything, it's because it's stuff I've chosen, which I've already got an interest in. They have sent me this product, which was what I chose. And you would have seen some of this already. I have shared lots of Cosmic Shimmer on this channel over the years. So yeah, I have got a lovely collection of Cosmic Shimmer products. And this is things now that I am gonna share with you. I'm gonna share some really fun tutorials and mix it in with all the other things that I've got. And I think you're gonna really like it. So <laughs> I was super excited that they wanted to, yeah, carry on working with me in some capacity. And um, this is what we're gonna be doing. So they, the other thing that appealed to me was that they are, they have a lot of brands under their umbrella. So Creative Expressions is the company. Then you've got Cosmic Shimmer, Woodware. You, there's loads. I can't even actually. I'm just. I've just said them because they're what's in front of me. But there's tons. Okay. So and they are stocked with lot within lots of stores. So you'll find them. You know their products in Hobbycraft. You'll find it online stores. It's stocked. You know it's a huge huge company. So I chose Woodware, which you know is one of my favourite stamp companies. And these stamps are incredible. They are so, so good. And then I picked out some dyes and then I've got some of the Cosmic Shimmer stuff. Now, this stuff here, I will show you briefly now, but what I'm gonna do is do separate tutorials with them because I've got some nice card ideas and things like that. But I will go through and show you these stamps because some of them are so awesome. I've not seen anything like it. So this one here says, "'Twas the night before Christmas, went all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. And it's a big tag. Now I haven't opened it up, but I'm, I don't know, that may, I don't think it is separate actually, it is one stamp, but I think that's going to make a lovely gift tag. That one there, and that is a nice size, I mean this here is just under four by four, it's about three and three quarters squared, so that's a lovely size stamp, so I got that one. And then I got this one which is just, I love it, I'm going to put family's faces in the middle of this because I think they're going to find it really funny. Um, and it's just timeless. That is just gonna be great for your kids' cards, for adult cards, for all kinds of things. You can put it on a gift bag. You can, I just, I think you're gonna really like some of the tutorials that I bring with this because it's just a really, really fun stamp. And again, it's a really lovely size. This one is five and a quarter by three and a half. So it's a great size. I've got this one here, which I believe was your dotty so dot it, oh, Bubble Bloom, that was it. I just thought it'd be really nice to colour. It's very different, don't have one like that at all. So um, yeah, I just wanted to try that one. And again, you can kind of see the idea. These are, yeah, five. Again, the largest there's five by three and a half. So again, nice size. I've got this one here. So I haven't got, I've got, I've got one similar that's got you and then you've got all the bits to go with it. And that was by Craftwork Cards, I think. And this one here is just another one. You've got Wishing and Hoping and Dreaming. I really liked that one. Yippy, I thought that was a really nice one as well. Heartfelt, this one's good. Um, if life's boring, make something up. <laughs> um, a little something just for you, friends. I just really like them. And these lovely big sentiments here, these are called, these are hand-drawn greetings. See, some have it wrote on the front and then some, see there's nothing there and then it's on the back. So whether that's new, but it's on the back as well, I don't know anyway, but hand-drawn greetings, you've got happy Christmas and a joyful new year, Merry Christmas to you, and then have yourself a happy Christmas, I like that one because you can colour in the happy, and the little flowers here and everything, just thought it was really nice, and again they're a nice, all of, you know, good size, and then this one here, I just love the big holly stamp, I don't have a lovely large one like that, and you've got that big bow there as well, I can't wait to colour that one in, and then you've just got holly, holly berries, says all different words there, so that's really nice. This one here is another really good one, so it's basically like the paper ripped, so it's like someone's burst through the hole, like you imagine a cat like, I don't know, ran through the, a box or something and it's all split around, that's probably a really bad way to describe how this, <laughs> what this is, but again I've just had some really funny ideas with this, to have like a real family member's photo of their head poking out of this, or you could do so much, but I've got some, I've got a really fun gift box idea with this, which I think you're going to like, again it's a great size, this is four and a half, by just under four and you've got surprise there as well just loved it I thought that's so original so different 
and that's just called Surprise, so love it, absolutely love that one. Then these two are just really good as well, so this is just Bar Humbug with the Humbug Sweet, and the good thing about this is they're separate, so that is just a really nice size sweet anyway, so you can colour that and, you know, stamp that and have it as a background, but the Bar Humbug I just thought was brilliant, and I know someone in my family that that would be perfect for, so <laughs> that'd probably be on their card. And then this one here, I actually didn't realise just how big this was going to be, I don't know, I just, I kind of thought it was going to be more like, I guess, that kind of size. And then I got it and I thought, oh, actually, that's really big. So this is going to be a really nice gift tag hanging off of a bag, but also stamped along the side of a bag. I think it would look cool. But otherwise, it will work great on one of your 8x4 cards. So just play around with that one. Because like I said, it is bigger than I thought, but I love it. And it just says, you are, and then it's got all those great words. Really, really nice. So again, all of that will be linked below. Then I picked up these here. I think the majority of them are all Lisa Horton dies. They are... She designed some wonderful dies and I do enjoy watching her as well. So these ones here are your borderline collection. So I got the happy birthday, thank you, congratulations and Merry Christmas. So I went for these ones which will work all year round because I just thought they're going to look really nice. So basically you can have it so that it hangs off the side like the top of a card but it will work as like a tab. So you could have, you know, say that's your, your card fold, okay, like that then you could have this, for example, congratulations, coming off the side of this. So you just, I, I, well, it's going to be in tutorials, I think they're going to look really nice. Um, yeah, I just thought, again, I think it's got quite a modern look on it. So I'm looking forward to using them. But you've also got the frame to cut them out, so they are in a, a single piece. But this one here, it doesn't have a cutting line along the bottom of the writing, so it will stay attached to whatever it is you die cut it on. Um, even at the top of a gift bag, having that like actually on the top, I think will look really nice. So yeah, I've got some nice ideas with them. And uh, yeah, so I've got the four of those ones. And then these ones here are your cut and lift collection. Really lovely. So I've got this one here, which is the festive foliage. However, this one here, you could use all year round. It's only that one that is distinctively holly, but that doesn't mean you can't use it after Christmas. But basically what it does, you have your shadow die, so you have your background one there. And then this one in the middle, when you cut it, the cutting line will not cut all the way down. So it, it leaves just a tiny bit where it doesn't cut to allow you to lift all of those leaves up. And then you've got that bottom die to give you your color. So you could you know, maybe die cut the bottom one in a dark green, die cut that in a lighter green, lift it up to see the two colors and it just gives you a really nice 3D die. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to trying out those ones. So I've got the leaves. Then I picked up this one, which was the pansies really like it so you can kind of see here where they've showed you where it's got that like shadow around that's it that's the lifted piece so i'm looking forward to trying them again they're a nice size and um, i like the dyes as well they're like a bronze color they're not silver and then this one here is the poncettia so i have got recently got those large uh Christ, um, helen griffin ones but these here are smaller and i think between the two i've got a nice kind of you know mix of sizes now but I love that these are that lift effect. So again, you've got your background shadow die and then you've got your detail, which you lift up. I can't wait to try them out. I think they're gonna look really, really nice. And you get a you know, nice selection there. Is it four? Yeah, four different sizes. And then these tiny bits here as well, which I guess will be like the, the center, like the stamen part. I mean, these dies are tiny here. They've literally got everything. And then you've got your little spiral pieces there as well. So yeah, these are all, you're gonna see all of this featuring over the Christmas period. I cannot wait. And then the Cosmic Shimmer. So like I said, I'm gonna do separate tutorials using this stuff, but it's beautiful. So a lot of you, you know, will have a lot of this. I've got the Glitter Kiss. I do have a couple of glit Glitter glit <laughs> glitter Kiss pots. You would have seen me use the Opal Polish. These are, they're all different things. Like I said, I'm not going to go into detail now with what they are and what they do. You can find that all out online. But I did um, want these ones. I love the colours. They're even better in person. They have the same bottle and they work the same as the... Um, I've already tried some of these out. This here is basically glitter that you can apply without adding glue and then sprinkling glitter it's all in there it's kind of all done together and you just you can cover like a background of paper within minutes and it's dry and you have this beautiful sparkle paper so, I mean that's just one example the things you can do with the, the glitter kiss 
is brilliant and you can just use it to just highlight like just the edges of maybe like a die cut flower all kinds of things it's beautiful stuff so I've got here the color I have is this is ocean spray because I wanted this one for again my underwater themed kind of things I just think with mermaids and stuff this is going to look beautiful so that was the glitter kiss in that and I thought I got yeah there's the other one there this one is rose copper and it's beautiful these are stunning then I've got the luster polish so which is these ones here you've also got your gilding ones but I've got a few of the gilding ones so I thought I would just go for the luster polish because I don't have I think I might have one luster polish actually but um, look the, these are have a very very high pigment color in them and they have a very small amount of mica that runs through them um, and again the coverage that you get from this this looks lovely as like green grass so if you covered a piece of cardstock on the bottom and again I did try these out before but the color is so rich and you don't need a lot you really don't and um, I'll be showing you how to use these how to look after them all that kind of stuff but look at that oh it's just so yummy I love it and the color so the colors I got was bubble gum this one here is apple fizz the names are brilliant and this is lemon sherbet and this one is raspberry sorbet. Oh, I feel so hungry. <laughs> and then I've got these here, which are lovely little glitter pots, but they're large glitter. So these are going to be nice for my shaker cards. So you've got teal haze, mermaid purple, rainbow black and blush haze. And you can see those colours there. Take out a little pinch and then sprinkle it inside your card. I think they're going to look really nice. So I've got them. And then these here are also to add, these are like glitter dust. There is very, very, very fine. So again, there's gonna be lots of things to do that I can do with this and you could probably add it, not into that, but when you apply this, you could sprinkle it over and it would probably stick to it just to add more, more shine and sparkle. But again, these ones here, I got pink fire, gold flame, silver rainbow and midnight glow. And then, they also added these ones in for me, which was really kind of them. So I do have these, but they are, um, this one I haven't used yet, but this is the Cosmic Flake and Glitter Glue. So it makes sense that they've sent that because obviously I've got the glitters there. And okay, so that's all the Creative Expressions product. Okay, so that's everything. I just want to say a huge thank you to Creative Expressions. You've just been so, so nice from the beginning and I cannot wait to start creating some amazing projects with this. I hope you are all gonna really enjoy what I bring to you as well. It's really fun to be able to use, like I said, things that you enjoy, because I find it easy to create things with because I've already got ideas for these, you know, and I've already got, I'm familiar with this product here and it's just gonna be really fun. And yeah, these, these cut and lift dies are gonna be interesting as well. Can't wait to start making the Christmas projects with all of that lovely stuff because it is just beautiful. And I've got my nice little diamond there to sit on my desk as well. So everything works together. You're gonna to see it all mixed and working together as well, which is what I enjoy doing. So yeah, I've been speaking for a long time. I'm now gonna stop. I'm gonna put all this away. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up and look out for all the tutorials. Thanks for watching, bye.